Hi, I'm Joe McFarland. Today we're going to talk about making a fire with a mushroom, which sounds like a peculiar thing to do. Um, not just any mushroom. We're going to use something called the tinder fungus. Now, we are going to use a technique using flint and steel, which is something that all of us should be familiar with. Uh, since we've been kids, we've been able to strike uh, rocks together sometimes and get a spark. We know that uh, when you strike uh, a rock such as church or flint against steel, you can actually get sparks to come off, and you might or might not be able to see that in the film, but there are sparks there. The trick is to get these sparks that are coming off the steel to catch into something that's actually going to take. Um, and a lot of things that seem like they would work really well for catching a spark, for example, I've got in front of me here some, some uh, dried leaves ground up, I've got some, some milkweed uh, seeds that are all dry, nice little pile. That looks like a beautiful place to catch a spark. And I'll show you here how, although I can get sparks to land there, they don't want to catch on fire like I would like. You can try and get some air going, and you can do that all day long, and it ain't going to happen. Here I have a pile of tinder uh, that I'll be starting a fire on eventually, but you think, well, catch a spark in there, and surely that'll work. Dry grass and leaf clippings and all that good stuff. You can probably see some of the sparks going in there. You think, surely one of those will catch and take. But again, I can do that all day long and nothing happens. So we need to have something that'll catch that little bit of spark before it goes out and actually start to smolder. And with that smoldering bit of ember, I can transfer that into my pile of tinder, blow on that a bit, get the flames going, put that into my little uh, prepared fire pit that's going on over here. And voila, we have fire. So let's do this. First, I need to start by getting my tinder fungus. And this is a species of fungus that looks like it's been burned in a fire already, but that's just the way it grows on the side of a birch tree. Up in the north woods, you'll find this is called Inonotus obliquus, and it is known as the true tinder fungus. There are other fungi out there, one called the false tinder fungus, and this is a bit like it. It's a closely related species, but uh, some people have had some luck making fires with, with this kind of polypore, but the best of the best of the best is either this species of tinder fungus, Inonotus obliquus, or this species of Philinus, which does grow locally here in Southern Illinois. We picked this in Giant City State Park not too long ago. And what you want to do is take the dry tinder fungus and take some shavings off of it. Because you don't catch the spark directly into the fungus, you catch the spark into the shavings that come off the fungus. And so I've already got a few going right here. I can go ahead and take a moment and shave some more of this tinder fungus into my little handy dandy catch tray here and you could use anything you want if you're out in the wild obviously uh, maybe an old box turtle shell or here I've used a little clam shell basically or mussel shell to catch it but it's not rocket science to do this no special technique you're basically getting some dry shavings of this tinder fungus I don't have to have a nice little pile I don't know if you can see that very well it doesn't take a whole lot very 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 old technology matter of fact back it's probably been about 20 years now but they found melting out of a glacier I believe in the Austrian Alps the so-called ice man and this ice man was sort of a frozen museum of technology of what was going on about 5,000 years ago and uh, the ice man had among his possessions a little piece of, guess what? He had a tinder fungus with him. And um, that mushroom was used for starting fires. So what you can do is carry a little piece of this with you and wherever you went, shave off a little bit of it, get a spark with your steel and your flint, voila, you've got something that is smoldering and ready to start a fire. So I think we have enough shaved off here to catch a spark. You saw that it didn't work in this, it didn't work in this. Why should this be so special? going to see and I'm going to do something for safety here to show you when you're striking flint and steel it never hurts to have something to cover your eyes so I put my little reading glasses on and I hope you'll be able to see this here sometimes that spark has already started before you realize it you won't necessarily see it smoldering. Whoops. And here we have fungus. 
this. Bring this smolder. Add a little more to it. Encourage it. Again, you can use a lot of dry tinder and spark in it all day long, and you get nothing. Use a tinder fungus, and voila. I'm going to raise this up a bit now. This was also a great way for transporting fire from one place to the next. Before humans kind of figured out how to make their own fires, they, uh, they needed to be able to transport fire from one place to the next. How'd you do it? Well, you set a bunch of grass on fire and that only burns for so long. You, you have a stick that's on fire and that burns out after a while. Tinder fungus can smolder forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. I exaggerate a little bit, but for hours anyway. You can get a piece of tinder fungus to smolder and you can carry that with you for hours. When you go to make your next camp that night, take out your tinder fungus that's still smoldering and start your fire. So let's go ahead and turn this from a smoldering pile of shavings into my little tinder bundle here. Dump the whole pile in. Of course, I've already got my fire sticks set up next to me, ready to go. You'll want to be prepared for when this bursts into flames. How's this? Voila! We have a fire. Works every time. You don't have to have a custom made little piece of steel. You can use an old file. You can use a lot of different pieces of iron uh, to get your spark. All you need is the tinder fungus, a piece of iron, a piece of sharp chert, and uh, something to put your fire out eventually.